Engineer man here. Time to learn about and implement bubble sort. No time to waste. Let's do this. Today's level is beginner. First, what is bubble sort? Bubble sort is a simple sorting al algorithm that takes an array of items and sorts it according to what the user wants. How does bubble sort work? Essentially, what bubble sort does is it iterates over an array over and over again until it's sorted. And each time it iterates, what it does is it looks at the current item being iterated and then compares it against the next item. So in this case, one and four. It checks to see if it should be ordered differently. So in this case, we'll do ascending order. So since one is less than four, it does nothing. Now it looks at four and two. Four is greater than two, therefore they have to be swapped. So it becomes two and four. It then checks four and five, and those are already fine. It then checks five and six, and those are already fine. And then once it gets to the end of the array, it checks to see if there's any corrections. If there's any corrections in that iteration, what it does is it starts over and does the whole thing over again. What is the best and worst case complexity? Best case complexity is n, which would be in the form of a fully sorted array already. The average and worst case complexity is n squared. And that would be, the worst case would be if the array was in descending order. That would take the most amount. And now let's implement bubble sort. So here I've created a template file. I have three tests here. And then I have my sorting function. So we'll write it from here. So the first thing we gotta do is do an infinite loop because we're gonna have to go over the array until it's fully sorted. Next we're gonna use a variable called corrected. Now what this variable is gonna do for us is it's going to allow, on every iteration, it's going to allow us to tell the program whether or not there is a correction made. And that will determine whether or not it starts over again. So now is when we're actually gonna iterate over the array for the first time. So we'll do for i in range zero up to the length array minus one. And the reason we have to do minus one is because you don't actually have to iterate on the last item. You would iterate on the second to last item and then compare that with the next item, which would be the last one. And here we're simply gonna check if the current item is greater than the next item in the array. If we want to go in reverse order, we could flip that to less than. And then here, if it was greater than, we're gonna go ahead and just swap those items. So we would take the current item, we would take the next item, and we would swap them using Python's neat swapping syntax. And then now this is considered a correction, therefore we'd have to set that correct, corrected variable to true. And then the last step here is simply to say, if not corrected, then we can treat that as a sorted array and then return the array. So I'll come over here and check my work. And you see there prints out three arrays, each are in the perfect order. And I did a, I did a best case, I did a sorted, which means it would have done nothing. I did an average, which is just arbitrarily mixed up. And then I did a worse, which is in descending order. Of course, it's a small array, so there's no real, you can't notice the time difference here. And that's it. Hopefully everyone is smarter having watched this video. If I forgot to cover something or you'd like to request a video, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.